just about forgot you guys at home this morning. Shame on me. Shame on me. I was already in the truck and down the road. I had to turn around and go back and get you. You guys were still sleeping. We're on our way to drive some trucks. No idea what we're going to get up to today. Uh, I, I think the mistress should be out of the shop today. I went to go talk to them yesterday and they said they should be done like last night yet, which is a day early from what they had said. On the ball. I like it. I thought it might take a day longer and I wouldn't have held it against them. I mean, I know how it is. You take things apart and it just thing it takes longer than you expected usually, right? At least that's how it is for me. <laughs> but oh, they apparently know what they're doing because uh, they told me they're going to get it out to me a day early. And half the time. I guess we'll find out when we get there. I'm not sure if I got my truck done or not. I'll have to go check in the shop. If it's not back here, then we'll just uh, start up 2025 and get that warmed up. And go over to the shop and see what's, uh, see what's going on. Maybe it did take a little longer than expected. And that's okay, because they did say two days to start, so. We got our 2025 right here off to the right. There she is. Ready to go. Nice. There she is. The mistress. Okay. Let's go and get her running. So we should have a new rear diff in here or the new insides. New brakes on the back there, I see that. We 
Are you coming there, bus? Okay. Don't you guys have a red light? I guess not. All right, let's go. So yeah, I had a full trailer filled up with ATVs. Now, I've delivered five of them into Winnipeg here already in Transcona. I got one to deliver up in Gimli and two, I believe, in uh, Lac de Bonnet or Lac de Bonnet. It'll take up a good chunk of the day when it's 10 o'clock now, being Gimli, and it'll take up a good part of the day. I'm guessing we'll probably be back mid-afternoon sometime, but we won't waste any time. I'll get back as soon as we can so that we can uh, get a few things done if needed. All right there, bud, green means go. Mr. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan plates anyway. Sometimes I have to park a little ways away from where I bring them to, but I just drive, drive them across the parking lot then. It's easier than, you know, wiggling the big truck into these tight spaces. It's really convenient that we can just drive it off. We hold these same things on flatbeds too sometimes, but those are in crates and disassembled. So it's a lot more work for the customer to, you know, assemble it, put it all together when we deliver it. It's also on a flatbed and open deck, open like a, down the highway to all the elements road salt rocks anything that else can fly around on the highway the wind the weather this way it's assembled well partially assembled mostly assembled they can back them right onto the trailer and we can drive them right off saves them time from having to assemble it and it also keeps them inside an enclosed trailer okay so our next stop is in Lac de Bonne, Manitoba, and I had to quickly uh, look up all of the spring restriction roads to make sure that we don't end up on a restricted road and get a big ticket. So I think we can go down to Selkirk. Well, we're on Highway 8 here now, if you're familiar with Manitoba. I gotta get over to Highway 9. There's an unrestricted gravel road, Highway 17, I believe, down here. That'll take me over to Highway 9, which is unrestricted. Go down Highway 9 to Highway 4, go around the north side of Selkirk, That'll take me to the 59, I believe. And the 59 I take down to the 44. I think there's a little shortcut, like the 217 or something. Yeah, the four to the 59, go south down the 59. And then there's a little shortcut here that's apparently unrestricted. We'll see what the signs say when we get there, but it's Provincial Road 212. And that is supposed to take us a little shortcut down to Highway 44 which is gonna take us to Seddon's Corner, and then we take Highway, uh, Milner Ridge Road, Highway 214, all the way up to Lac de Bonny. Lac de Bonny is more so where the cottage country is. Yesterday or the other day, I said that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I said that Pine Falls is cottage, cottage country. That's not exactly true. Not exactly true. They're more close to Lac de Bonny. Sort of up in the, you know, eastern side of Manitoba, that's where all the cottagers like to go. There's lots of lakes there, tons of freshwater lakes tons of fishing, tons of big massive million dollar mansions. There's a lot of NHL hockey players that have their getaway cottages. I would refer to them as more than a cottage, but I guess perspective. Getaway cottages out in that area. Uh, so they're very nice. They're very nice. 
But we're not going to be going into cottage country. I can't get a truck up there. It's just narrow roads going up. So we're going to go to Lactaboni and deliver the rest of this trailer. And then we'll pull this empty trailer back and see what they have for us. I'll probably be back around 3 o'clock, I'm thinking. And we might have one more thing for us to do at the end of the day. But... I love making people happy. Delivering freight. Specifically delivering freight that makes people happy. Who wouldn't be happy to receive that? I know I would. So now we gotta go and find Highway 17. It's gonna be a gravel highway. But that gets us legally over to Highway 8. Because the only other unrestricted way of getting there is to go all the way back down to Winnipeg and come back up 9. That's a ways out of the way. We don't want to waste all day doing this, so... Gravel highway it is. It is a provincial highway. It would be the equivalent of a state highway in the U.S. It's a provincial highway. I just delivered my last two uh, two units into uh, Lactabani here, 
and uh, I delivered this big unit. It was uh, like a six seater, right? This truck keeps. You hear that? It's distracting me. This truck keeps groaning. It's weird. It's the hood. Whatever. But the uh, the owner here, or the person who uh, was receiving this big six seater. Uh, side by side ATV, it was actually theirs. They got it for themselves and for their kids. And she was telling me about how how excited her kids were gonna be when she comes home with this new machine today, and they're gonna love it, and they're gonna have the best weekend ever and best summer ever. That's the kind of stuff I live for. That makes me so happy to be a part of that. You know, their kids have probably been waiting, unless if it's a surprise for the kids. I didn't ask that. That would be even better. But either way, just to know that these kids out here in Lac de Bonnie are gonna have the best summer ever because their mom and dad got them this big side-by-side -side machine and I was the guy that delivered it, brought it all the way here. Well, I didn't bring it all the way here. We picked it up in the US, took good care of it, brought it all the way up here to Canada, brought it to our yard, I hooked onto it and I brought it that final stretch to the customer and just to see the smile on their face and hear the story of how it's gonna make, make their summer so great. That's awesome. That's the feeling of being a trucker, you know? Bringing people the stuff they need, especially when you're bringing them fun stuff. Like, we deliver fun stuff. Well, sure, we deliver all the boring stuff, too, on just the boxes and skids that, whatever, it's important, but it's not exactly exciting, like, life-changing, right? But we, we specialize in specialty freight, like, like these ATVs and, you know, classic cars and sports cars and exotic cars and just to see the face on the on the customer when you bring them their toy how happy they are for 10 years now it's never gotten old i love that i love that feeling i love seeing their happiness and being a part of that okay anyways enough let's go home uh what's the time now what's the time, what's the time? oh got a fancy pocket for my phone now because i'm a fancy gentleman distinguished yes one second, one second. Yes, we have a pocket for our phone, distinguished, yeah. <laughs> I think we heard that on TikTok, so my wife heard it, and she started saying that all the time. Whenever something fancy, whenever we'd feel fancy, she'd always be like, yes, look at us, so distinguished. No, I can't stop saying it. Uh, so it's minus eight up here right now, that's why it feels a little cold. It is 2.26. Let's see how far away from work we are. Hour and a half. We left right now. Head north on Drifter's Bend. Oh, this took a lot longer than I thought it would. We're only going to be back around like 4 o'clock. I told them 3 o'clock. I better, I better fix that. Did daylight savings time happen or where did an hour go? I drove straight here. I misjudged. Okay, we will fix that right now. Just up behind. 
behind us there, uh, there's a bunch of lakes. And that's sort of the place to be. Well, one of the many places to be in summertime. One thing you'll know or you'll realize about Manitoba if you ever come here is that we, we thoroughly enjoy our summer season. Thoroughly. Better than most people who get to enjoy summer all year round, I think. At all of these lakes and everything, as soon as everything warms up, everybody's outside. Everybody wants to either be camping or on the lake or on a boat or fishing. We're very outdoorsy people. And we're no exception. This summer we're going to be spending a lot of our time pretty much every weekend at our land, uh, beginning to develop it and also helping my parents develop their lot around the corner. talking about it you just wait and see here what do we have here wow <laughs> fuel cap over here to show you guys inside but I don't touch the cars unless I have to. That is nice. And she's a Ford. Just one of the many interesting cars that we move for our very happy customer I would love to be there when he receives his car just to see his smile so he's moving it from one point to another I don't know if uh, if they bought it and then had us move it from where he bought it from to here maybe he's a snowbird uh, you know you can still go and visit the US you can fly in there but you can't drive in but you can have your car shipped commercially. So you can go down there to your summer home in Florida, let's say, where everything's open and have your car shipped to Florida. And look at this, you're in Florida and you got your own classic car to roll around in. Nothing's stopping you if you just, you know? <laughs> So yeah, snowbirds go back and forth and they don't want to drive their expensive cars back and forth. So that's where we come in. We take really good care of them. We take pride in it. And like I said before, 
the best feeling in the world is when you deliver a nice shiny toy to the customer and see their smile and give them the keys and say, there you go, bud. We'll see you next time. I love this job. I love trucking. Let's go home. All right, everybody, come on. In the yard. In the yard, let's go. Go, 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 no, not here, Diesel. In the yard. Frank, go on, you can go that way? Go on. All right, so Britt is working this evening. She'll be home later. Uh, oh, the lake back here has actually gone down quite a bit. It's been cold today, so it's frozen again. Okay, we can walk on it now. Oh, oh. It's a little, a little thin in places. <laughs> this is all water. So we have a, a low point in our yard here. Here, goes all the way over there. We're gonna have to fill this up and uh, level it off pretty much with this uh, carport here, because that's raised up. We wanna get it all about that height. That's not so bad, it's already going down. It was worse a couple days ago. And then back here, this also, it's all ice now, but big pool of water. So it's not so bad. We'll get it fixed up. A couple of loads of dirt, get it dumped on the driveway and we'll wheelbarrow it in. All fixed. I think I'm about to break through. Oh. Okay, it's thicker again here. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> See if we can get back over, uh, back over here without falling through. Ah, not bad. 